सो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग आवर वीडियोज हेल्पफुल एंड वॉन्ट टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद द लेटेस्ट इन साइट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल सच दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूएबल कंटेंट विच कैन एक्चुअली इनहेंस योर स्किल्स इन योर बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट थैंक यू हे हाई फोक्स वेलकम टू कोड लैबिथ अनुराग एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न बट बिफोर डीप डाइविंग इन टू फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू सम ऑफ द सिनारियोज वेयर फैक्ट्री डिजाइन पैटर्न विल भी वेरी यूजफुल सो फर्स्ट लेट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट अ सिनारियो वेयर यू आर बिल्डिंग अ पिज्जा डिलीवरी एप्लीकेशन where customers are uh, where you have different type of pizzas let's say margarita pizza veggie delight or uh, pepperoni pizza and so on um, so on and so forth without the factory design pattern every time someone like uh, orders any kind of pizza you have to have a ton of if and else statement like this so this is not a very scalable solution so this is spe- uh, this specific solution is very much error prone very much hard to scale because as new pizzas are getting added into your uh, inventory like uh, that will be very hard to manage and there will be a lot of uh, if and else condition also this will violate open close principle which is one of the uh, important principles of solid so this this will violate the open close principle uh, so if you don't know about uh, open close principle uh, let me explain you so this is kind of an object oriented programming principle that will state you that uh, uh, the entire software should be only open for extension and but closed for modification so we should not modify um, the code so every time you will add a new pizza you have to modify the existing code um let me talk about one more example so let's say we have this example of uh, a bank where uh, you are supposed to like build a banking system where you have three type of three types of account saving current as well as a business account so without factory pattern your code should uh, your code have to actually in- initialize this accounts uh, which might look like this so you have to uh, like uh, specify account type dot equals to which is saving then you have to return the object of saving account then uh, an object of current account or the business account right so again we are back to the same problem uh, if else block everywhere so this is having a very tight cup to coupling in the application also violating the op- uh, open close principle and have no scalability so here let me introduce you to factory design uh, method so this is basically a design pattern that will provide you an interface for creating an object in the super class to alter the type of object that will be used to uh, that will be created so in very simple words uh, you have delegated responsibility of an object creation to a specified class right a kind of an um, factory class that will be uh, basically handling the object creation according to the needs of the user so you do not have to write messy code and uh, you will also get rid of this if else block if from everywhere and this won't violate the open close principle as well as this will be a very scalable code so let me explain you uh, this both the examples with the code uh, that will give you a better un- understanding of how it will solve and let's first of all check the bank example so we have three classes one is the saving account one is the current account as uh, as well as a business account class so all the classes have their uh, in it uh, function which is the constructor uh, f- which is accepting the account holder information and account type is the one which we are uh, assigning it here and all the classes have a method which is called account details to provide the information about the account so let me move to main where uh, here we have a create account which can handle the account creation by checking uh, the account type so let's say the account type is savings then we have to return the uh, object of this saving account so this will be basically uh, invoking this class which is saving account uh, with the account holder information that we will be providing right here uh, from the input uh, depending about the input it will create the instance of the corresponding class and return it so if the if an valid type is provided it will basically value uh, some kind of error from here right so there is no issue that can be like uh, uh, that can be seen in here because because of very less number of type of the account right here but assume there are like hundreds of types of account which is present for any kind of banking system or any uh, other use case then it will be very hard to manage uh, everything right uh, right in this code so what are the problems right, uh, which we are seeing here so hard coded logic so the first problem is you can see uh, a hard coded logic which can explicitly check if a specific account type is there using multiple if and else statements that we already discussed and adding a new account required to modify this specific function so we have to modify this function in order to add more type of account right here so this is basically violating the open close principle by this uh, specific create account fu- function is violating this open uh, close principle because of which it's not a uh, good coding practice to use this uh, as well as also we can see lot of code duplication the account creation logic is very much repetitive across all account types and as more account type will be added the duplication will be increased right here and there is very tight coupling between the create account function as well as invoking all the uh, objects right here from here so as more account type so basically the function is very much tightly coupled by the creation pro- process of saving account the current account as well as this business account so these are the issues that we can see uh, uh, when we don't have uh, the help of factory method let's see how factory 
uh, how factory design pattern will be solving this problem seamlessly so uh, let me start with the bank first of all where we have this uh, account uh, interface that we have created so basically this uh, now all the classes will be implementing this functionality of the interface account which will have the same functionality uh, in order to provide the account details right here uh, so for saving account current account and business account we uh, we will be uh, we will be inheriting the functionalities of this account details from its parent which is account class so basically the difference between the two approaches are in their use of this inheritance and abstraction and how they are actually uh, uh, confronting the principle of object oriented programming so with inheritance uh, where account will be the base class all the account type which is saving account this current account as well as this business account inherit from a common account base class which is this one the base class will be a uh, standard interface which will be uh, consisting of this account details ensuring that all subclasses should implement this method so everyone is implementing this method so this make the design very much extensible and also ensures that uniform uh, behavior should be across all the account types so there should not be a uh, non, non new behavior so if i show you the old code so there for each account type saving current and business uh, all were the independent classes and no shared base where there was no enforced contract in account details which they have implemented of their own so uniformity was one of the issue which was ma manually maintained so if a developer forgot to implement the account details it might lead to uh, inconsistencies so that was the uh, new and the old code difference so let's move forward and learn about how should we implement the factory design pattern so let's move ahead and uh, look at the implementation of how we can uh, implement this product factory so i have a basic implementation of this uh, factory template uh, for a product where we have the client we have product factory we have an interface pro for a product and these are implementing so there are some concrete classes also which are implementing this product interface so client actually wants a uh, product object but it can only interacts with the product factory right here and the product interface uh, will be not having the concrete implementation right here so the product factory class that contains so this is the one which will basically contains the uh, logic for creating appropriate product product objects it usually has a method uh, like create product which is present right here and returns the object implementing the product interface so this will be returning an object for implementing the product interface now comes to the product so this will be basically the abstract class that will define all the common interfaces for all concrete classes and all product should implement this operation which is present right here so uh, let me explain you a little bit about the relationships between them so this client actually consists of uh, an object of factory product so this contains an hazard relationship so this both serves as a hazard relationship then it comes to product factory it also has an hazard relationship with the product because it requires the creation of product right here so these are having hazard relationship and then the concrete products are implementing the product interface because of which they consist of a, they consist of a is a relationship so this is a very uh, basic template of how we can create the factory design pattern let's move forward and check out with an example uh, so that we can create a uh, diagram as well as solve a problem using factory design. so let's work on a problem to understand uh, more about how factory pattern solve some real world problems so uh, let's assume you have to design a notification push system that will be sending messages via different channels assume it will be an sms service it will be a, a email service it will be a whatsapp service whatsapp service so this can send uh, an a message from three mediums so this system should be flexible uh, enough to add more new notification channels in the future right so if in future we want to send a message from slack channel we can uh, use to create slack or something like that so this can be scalable solution and uh, we can also have a scope to add new new notification channels so we will be using the how we can uh, use factory design pattern in order to solve this problem. so let's first of all create the class diagram for it and then i'll explain you the code for the same so we we can start with uh, creating a notification factory first of all so this will be a notification factory this notification factory will be consisting of uh, one function which will be create notification and this will be accepting a type as whatever you can say as a string and finally it will be returning a notification from here so this will be our factory so here it will be basically dynamically creating the objects as per the client's requirement right and uh, 
we can also have a notification manager that will help us to manage the notifications uh for notify for accepting what kind of notification they want the uh, recipient as well as the messages what we want to send so let's create a notification manager right here so notification manager so this notification manager will be consisting of this notification factory notification factory right here and it will also have a feature of notify where this will be taking type what type of medium do you want what message do you want to send as well as the recipient so any email id any phone number or something like that okay so this will be basically having a has a relationship with a notification factory so has a relationship with the relation this factory because notification manager consists of notification factory object so that's why we have added a has a relationship right here and uh, after that what will happen is uh, whenever notification manager will uh, whenever we request get a request on notification manager for creating some kind of uh, object like for ch sending a whatsapp message something like that notification factory will create an object right from there and we have to also create a, a interface so let me create an interface here only so this will creating an interface interface and this interface will be call it as notification so this will be the abstract part of the problem and this will be having send where it will be expecting a message and whom to send right so basically this notification factory will be responsible for creating this creating this now uh, what we have to do right here is uh, we we are done with creating our factory we are done with creating our manager which will be responsible for all the operations and then uh, we have our interface our uh, interface for which will be having some functionality which common functionality across all the concrete classes so now it's time to uh, uh, go ahead and implement so this will be so this should not be like this so we will be basically implementing sorry so we'll be implementing email notification email notification service then it comes to the sms notification and the third one will be whatsapp notification notification service right so now for email notification um, class will be consisting of uh, email service so what is this email service so basically this email service is uh, nothing but the actual the, the class which will have the actual handling logic of the send sending part of the uh, email or sms or whatsapp so this will be consisting this email service and uh, we will also have this send send will accept message and recipient right here after that let's create sms notification so this sms notification will have same sms service same thing send message and recipient and the third one will be for the whatsapp whatsapp service send whatever the message is and that's it okay so now uh, we have created the notifications part of uh, all the type of uh, services so this notification will create appropriate notification objects based on their type type and then following up we have to create an, uh, the classes which is the service classes which will have the actual implementation logic for everything so it will be having a sorry it will having a has a relationship between the email notification will have a notification has a relationship with the email notification service so this will be email service and this will be consisting of sending email so all the logic will be written right here so this will be two and the content right 
so the actual logic resides in here now for uh, the sms one let's create sms service sms service send sms this will be two and then the content same goes for our whatsapp service this whatsapp service will contain the same thing whatsapp service uh, send message same it will contain to and content right so we are basically having all of them are having has a relationship with email notification because email notification consists of the object of all the services part right so uh this is more of a di like uh, the diagram for factory design pattern and if you can see this is the main part which is focusing on creating the factory design pattern that we discuss as per the template and after that <coughs> you can create uh, all the relationship between different different object if you want to separate the concerns you can do it according to your use case so this is how we have created a uh, notification factory class and a basic implementation for how we no notification service class pattern will be solved using this factory so let's move ahead and check out the code for this you the proper flow of the notification manager service via this code so everything starts with the main which is the client code uh, for us you can define your recipient's email uh, right here and initialize the notification manager from here and also send the email notification from here so what will what are you doing here is you are actually passing the email as a type of notification what which you wanted you can provide your message which is hello via email and this will trigger a send notification uh, method in the notification manager uh, moving to the notification manager will be having a property to dynamically create the notification uh, where this will call the get notification uh, method this method will decide the type of uh, notification object to create which is email sms or whatsapp so you can see check this out in the factory uh, this factory not notification factory.py we are checking what kind of uh, notification type we are getting and according to that we are creating the object for the same right and then we can act we can also have the uh, send method so once appropriate notification object method is been created it will call the send and this uh, send will be uh, passing the message as, as well as the recipient from here so let's move to the factory properly and uh, check so this is the responsibility of this email uh, where it will be triggering the email notification so email notification is present right uh, here so so as the uh, email notification class takes over uh, once the factory object is been created and uh, this will be implementing the interface which we have created i notification so this is the uh, interface that will be communicating directly with the factory uh, method and uh, this email notification will be implementing all the uh, methods which is present in i notification which is here in our case it's send so uh, this email notification class will create an instance of uh, email service so this service is responsible for the actual email sending logic so when the send method is called it delegate the task to the email service dot send underscore email method so now uh, let's check what is the email service right here is the email service so i'm not adding a lot of logic to uh, each and every method but you can you can see that uh, we have this send underscore email where it accepts the message as well as the recipient uh, and it will just directly print like the sending email to the recipient as well as the message from here and try to uh, run the code so let's open the terminal so this will be factory uh, cd notification service python 3 uh, main.py so you can see like how uh, this someone underscore uh, email.com is being passed to here send notification and we are just sending the notification from here so uh, this specific message has been printed from the email service part sending email to the recipients uh, colon message so same uh, flow will work with all of them so this design works well uh, as separated of separation of the proper concerns so each component has a single responsibility we are not trying to uh, add a lot of coupling between all the layers and it's very scalable solution for adding new notification so that's how our email notification system uh, works step by step and uh, that's all for the video thank you so much for watching and if you have any uh, doubts regarding the video please do comment